Brittany, Renee, I'm back. And yeah, I didn't come yesterday because I just, well, didn't really, kind of, the day kind of went flew by. End up working instead of reading all day. Still have a lovely day. Uh, but yeah, today I will update. So I finished this on Friday. Loved it so, so much. Amazing story. And then I started. This is not the end. I've gotten like a few pages into it. I'm liking it. But like yesterday I ended like, okay, so this is going up today. But yeah, yesterday on Saturday, just so you know, when you're watching this. Um, Saturday, I didn't really watch, read this this that much. I, I suppose I just wasn't in the mood for it. I suppose that's kind of like defeating my purpose because kind of the idea behind these presents to myself is to open them up and then read that book that day. But at the same time, as I said, it's not like I have to, like, if I open a book and I find, like, okay, I don't really want to read much into today, that's fine. Like, I did start it, so I have started it. So, yeah, maybe I'll pick it back up in a few days, but right now, I, I suppose maybe I'll pick it up today. Uh, maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah, I have started it. I like it so far, but yeah, I don't really want to focus on it. Also, I kind of slightly started uh, another reading vlog, so yeah. And then I kind of wanted to wrap, unwrap these two books, because today is the fourth, and I didn't wrap up uh, unwrap something yesterday, because time just kind of flew so yeah so first of this one and yeah yesterday i bought numbers so now i have numbers on packets this is the number three packet for yesterday packet. 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 let me see let me actually get to this room yeah. that. curious what this one is this one might be a pocket well i have most i have most effects Let's see. Ah, The Space Between Worlds by Micah Johnson. This one, I'm really intrigued to get to. It's a multiverse story, which I feel like is kind of all over nowadays. I mean, you have all the multiverse movies, and then you have Loki and whatnot. And I feel like you have, a, have, have had at least a few multiverse books lately. That uh, was multiverse. I mean, you have some like sliding doors books at least that's coming up, like I suppose sliding doors and multiverse kind of same thing where you think about what would happen if you did this instead of that. Kind of slightly how it is in multiverse stories where you have ultimate universes but they are slightly different but not quite different, quite similar. And um, yeah, I kind of want to, yeah, well, I want to, I'm going to start with this today. But yeah, curious to get to this one. Excited, excited. And then we have number four. It's a bit bigger. Maybe it's maybe it's a uh, hardcover. Maybe I have some of those. Let me see what it is. Did you like my hardcover? Interesting. It is. I think I have an idea who it is. Ah, yes. This will be cool. A Golden Fury by Samantha Colo. So this, at least my knowledge, is a uh, standalone, but it's based around alchemy, which, yeah, I just love that idea and concept where, like, in the olden days, they tried to make gold from from other, uh, from other uh, metal, and then they tried to, like, have immortal life and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it has, like, lots of praise. Uh, oh, nice, like inside there, and uh, yeah, I do also believe it's kind of, yeah, it's set in France, at least the beginning, 1792 in France, so it's a historical mm, based alchemy story, so I think it's historical slash some magical to it, because I feel like there's like some, because I feel like the alchemists, they try to make gold, and then they also kind of wanted to have um, internal life, in the alchemist try to get into your life kind of mixing people stuff up I, I think so so yeah anyway yeah excited to read this one i don't know Ugh. i know i'm getting a bit mad because i feel like the beginning of the idea of wrapping this stuff was like a fun way to get from the tmbr now i'm like i have so honestly i just have so many cool books to read and it's just seven days in a week i mean this should be eight days in a week just like a day for reading. I suppose, yes, I 
could say no to more work shifts, but like I want also I want the salary and I want to work, so like Yeah. 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 Maybe I should just cross my fingers so I'll get Corona again. But suppose like last time I didn't really feel me feel after reading. Yeah, well this one, well I don't know. Yeah, uh, I know. It's a luxury problem. It's just a first world problem. Just like having too many books to read. Definitely, definitely first world problem. But, yeah. And uh, that's kind of it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. And bye.